Hey coders, choosing the right text editor can make or break your workflow. Today we're pitting Adam against VS Code. Let's break down each editor, compare them, and see which one's best for you. Ready? Let's dive in. Adam, developed by GitHub, is a free open source text editor launched in 2014. It's known as the hackable editor because you can customize it extensively using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Adam shines with its minimalist design, built-in Git integration, and a solid library of over 8,000 plugins. It's great for web developers and those who love tweaking their editor. However, Adam can feel sluggish with large projects and its development was discontinued in 2022, so no new updates are coming. VS Code, built by Microsoft, is also free and open source, released in 2015. It's a powerhouse with a sleek, modern interface, blazing fast performance, and over 10,000 extensions in its marketplace. Visual Studio Code offers out-of-the-box features like IntelliSense for smart auto-completion, debugging tools, and integrated Git support. It's optimized for performance, even on large code bases, and gets regular updates, making it a favorite for developers across languages. So, how do they stack up? For features, VS Code has more built-in tools like debugging and IntelliSense, whereas Atom relies heavily on plugins for functionality. For ecosystem, VS Code's larger active community and frequent updates make it more future-proof, while Atom's community is smaller and its sunset status means no new futures. For use case, Atom suits web developers who prioritize customization and don't mind slower performance, and VS Code is ideal for most developers from beginners to pros, working on diverse projects like web, Python, or C++. For most developers, VS Code is a clear winner thanks to its speed, features, and active support. But if you're a customization junkie and don't need cutting-edge updates, Atom's still a solid pick. Try both, they're free, and let us know which one is your favorite. Drop it in the comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.